Even the most expensive camera lens can cause common problems that degrade the quality of a photo like keystone, fisheye distortion, chromatic aberration and vignetting. Photo Director 5 comes with a new feature, Lens Correction, which enables you to correct these defects automatically or manually to drastically improve the look of your images. In this tutorial, we'll show you how you can correct lens-related defects in your images, as well as how to deliberately apply a vignette to focus the attention on the subject in your picture. We have already imported our picture into Photo Director, an image of an urban scene taken with a wide-angle lens. We can already clearly see some imperfections, fisheye distortion, chromatic aberration, and vignetting. Click the Adjustment tab, then Global Adjustment Tools, and Lens Correction. The Lens Correction panel offers different options, Auto Lens Correction, and the manual tools Keystone, Fisheye Distortion, Chromatic Aberration, Vignette Removal, and Vignetting Effect. Auto Lens Correction enables you to automatically fix the lens defects of your image based on the specific type of lens you used and your camera model. Activate the tool by clicking the Enable Correction radio box. You can now select the specific maker of the lens, the lens type and the model of camera used to take the picture. For that photo, we used a Canon lens and camera. You can see that Photo Director has automatically corrected the lens defects based on the selected lens profile and improved the quality of the original photo. If your lens does not appear, don't worry. Simply click the download button to import the profile from Cyberlink's online creative platform, directorzone.com. And the reload button to refresh the list. The new imported profile is ready for use. In the absence of a lens profile, you can also apply manual corrections to fix keystone, fisheye distortion, chromatic aberration and vignette problems. In this new shot, let's fix the keystone lens defect. Keystone is a distortion of the image dimensions, making it look like a trapezoid. Drag the vertical and horizontal sliders to fix the defect in two dimensions. The vertical slider corrects photos taken from an upward or downward angle, while the horizontal slider fixes problems in photos taken from a right or left angle. The tool is sensitive. Use your eyes but also use your instinct to give a more realistic shape to your image. Below this, the fisheye distortion tool fixes photos with a convex, non-rectilinear appearance, basically an absence of straight lines of perspective. This effect can be produced on purpose with ultra-wide-angle lenses to create panoramic images. The distortion slider can be moved to the right or left to correct the distortion issue. Chromatic aberration is caused by the incapacity of the lens to focus all colours to the same convergence point. Chromatic aberration shows in your pictures with fringes of colour along edges that separate the bright and dark areas. The tool is comprised of two sliders, blue yellow and red cyan, representing the full colour spectrum. For the blue yellow slider, drag to the right to remove the fringing colours close to yellow and to the left to remove the fringing colours that are close to blue. For the red cyan slider, drag to the left to remove the fringing colours that are close to red and to the right to remove the fringing colours close to cyan. The last manual distortion tool, vignetting removal, helps to remove a vignetting effect caused by the lens or poor lighting. It's a reduction of the image brightness or saturation at its corners compared to the centre. The amount slider moved to the right increases the effect and to the left reduces it.
The midpoint slider refers to the center of the image and the sizing of the vignetting effect. Drag to the left to increase the size towards the center and to the right to decrease the size towards the corners of the image. At the bottom of the panel, the vignetting effect is another manual tool you can use not to fix a lens defect, but to give your original image a creative vintage effect or simply enhance its main subject. Let's use an image of a happy couple, well centered and with clear tones on the edges. We can enhance it even more by adding a subtle vignette. The shade slider enables you to adjust the shade of the effect, darker to the left or lighter to the right. With the size slider, you can adjust the size of the effect, bigger to the left and smaller to the right. The roundness slider affects the overall shape of the effect, more like a rectangle to the left and more like a circle to the right. And finally, the feather slider adjusts the edge sharpness. Try out PhotoDirector's new lens correction tool and the large range of built-in and downloadable lens profiles to quickly fix defects in your images. Or give them a more creative look.